Welcome to the Anything Go Show. I am Combat All Star. And this is random growing out with this big head. And my head's not big, <laughs> just my ego a little bit. Oh, no, I'm just joking. No, I'm just yeah, joking. no egos. So today we're going to talk about uh, Supergirl. Mm-hmm. It just came on yesterday. It debuted, it actually debuted on Monday. Mm-hmm. And um, we watched the. Um, we watched we it watched today. The first watched, episode watched, today, the pilot. Yeah, it was on on demand, so we checked out the pilot to see what it was about. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, and okay, so initially I thought that it was going to be stupid. It looked like a chick flick kind of deal. But, How dare you? But Watch. I mean, no, seriously. But I wanted to give it a chance. I wanted to give it a shot, legitimate shot. And um, it came on, and I wasn't watching it. I totally forgot I was uh, watching Gotham at the time. So sorry, Supergirl. Gotham was a little bit more important. But um, it got it got. Uh, it got rave reviews, mm-hmm. and um, so I was like, you know what? Let me check it out. So I went ahead, and you know, me and Random Girl went ahead and checked it out. And uh, first, what were your thoughts about it? Cause you, you know, well, I went into it not really caring too much about it, to be honest. Um, my show, to be honest, is The Flash. I like The Flash, um, so I didn't really care if I was indifferent. But as I was watching it, it didn't seem that bad. It's actually a pretty it's a pretty good, cool show, and the girl that plays Supergirl is very cute and innocent. She has like a nice, giddy personality to her that I think a lot of girls can relate to. So the show is actually pretty good. There's a motorcycle in the background. I think they can see her stuff. Yeah. The show was still. The show was actually pretty good. Um, I liked it. I don't see myself really watching it for the future, but it's not because it wasn't bad. It's just not my thing. Yeah, you know it's funny because I was. Uh, I actually watched it too. Well, of course I watched it too. But, like, um, my thoughts on it were, you know, it was a little too clean. Um, It was kind of everything that I thought it would be uh, as far as, you know, it's totally, like, kind of a chick, you know, show. And uh, and what I mean by that is, like, you know, when you... uh, Okay, for example, like Sailor Moon, right? Mm -hmm. As awesome of a show as Sailor Moon was, it was all girls. Like, the bad guy guy was a girl. Uh, All the good guys were a girl. It was just, like, kind of... Kind of, it wasn't like realistic. It was, it was instead of like uh, having a show where you had, you know, everybody was kind of on equal footing and you just had heroes and villains. It was like girl heroes versus girl villains and uh, like everything was like girl, 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 girl. And then like the men were like kind of a side deal. Mm. So I felt like in this one it was the same thing. I mean, you find out at the end, you didn't, you didn't see the end of it, but her uh, the end of the, of the pilot, you find out that the bad guy is her aunt. And her aunt is over all these bad guys. And then, so the main, you know, uh, bad guy is an aunt. I mean, Supergirl works for a woman who who's uh, owning this uh, super powerful company. She's like the most powerful person in the company or whatever. So it's it's very uh, it's very strange that, I mean, not, su- not so much strange, but I wish they kind of, you know, put it in e- on equal footing. I mean, she did fight guys, but it just seems like you're inside a inside of a girl's world it was sense. cool though i liked it it was a you know it was for me i i think it was a breath of fresh air she wasn't like over sexualized or whatever she was a cool little cute girl you know <laughs> that i feel like a lot of little girls or women could relate to and it's nice to see you know a woman superhero tv show in a positive light so it was pretty good i think it was a pretty cool show my thing is why I don't want to watch it for the future is because I, I just I feel like I'm getting bombarded with a uh, with a ton of like superhero TV shows and I feel like I need a break so yeah. that's the reason why I won't be watching it. Yeah, and I won't be watching it because I, I I don't know I just it, I just don't like how there's it's like a girl's world you know what I mean I feel like it should be just regular just why can't it just be like a regular show like well, like you remember the 100 when we watched the 100 it was like the main character in the show was a girl but. You know, it was it was like a regular girl in the in the regular world. You know, she had her own problems. She was trying to overcome yeah. things. Even like Agent Carter, which I'm a huge fan of. I love Agent Carter, but she's 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 fighting guys and men. So. Yeah, exactly. Like but, Agent, Agent Carter's a little different because they're trying to play up, you know, her time and you know, a person against women and stuff. But just you know, just like a regular show, like the old Wonder Woman from like back in the day with Linda Carter. I never watched that one. Even even if you never watched it, just like looking at the trailers and stuff, you could tell. Yeah, like, I don't know anything about it. Okay, so the people out there who don't know <laughs> anything about it, like Random Girl, Hush, um, it, it's, it's basically you know it's it's a show. It's, it's Wonder Woman, so she's back there and she's fighting guys. It's, it's like a regular girl in a regular world, and she's strong because she's a hero. You know, not necessarily because she's a guy, because she's a girl or you know a guy or whatever. She's just. A hero when she fights bad guys period you know 
So it would have been, you know, maybe my hopes were a little bit too high, but that's what I kind of wanted yeah, to see. Yeah, it's it's like a cutesy type of show. Like Supergirl is very cutesy and innocent, so I feel like that's the feel around it. Maybe she's going to... Wait, that's the pilot. You don't know. Maybe she will be fighting guys throughout. You know, it was the first episode. I don't have any, like, negative remarks or comments on it. I think it was a pretty cool show. It's cute. Yeah, it wasn't bad, but I mean, yeah. she did fight guys. But do you get what I'm saying? Like, she just... Well, I'm not going to agree with you, Combat. You ain't got to agree with me, but do you understand what I'm saying? I don't even understand you. I'm saying, like, she is a girl who has a boss for a girl. Who also... I'm about to chop your neck. No, no, seriously. Don't listen, hate listen, on the girl. To, oh, my gosh. I'm okay, playing. I, I hope that you guys out there are trying to I'm understand playing. what I'm saying. I'm yanking no, his chain. Yeah, because, I mean, it's just, it's just too... I feel like it's so unrealistic. You know what I mean? It's not like a regular girl in a normal world. It's like a regular girl in a world that is made up for her. You know what I mean? Mm. So, I don't know. That's one thing I don't. I mean, don't like about it. It's just so clean. And Superman came from a background where he's always in clean situations, just like that. And they kind of dirtied them up and greeted them up to make them more real and more believable. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of it's going the opposite direction, in my opinion. Mm. But I don't know. That's all I got to say about that. Do you have any anything to add to it? No, I mean, you know, I think the girl that plays her is amazing. She's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I, I did like I like the fact that they kind of captured Kara in that way because she is like that. She's kind of, uh, a, she's very much a little girl. She's like yeah. she doesn't know what she's doing, but she has a lot of heart. She kind of yeah. headstrong, two fisted. It was very deal. believable. I liked it. Yeah, so I mean, that is that is who she is, you know. So I mean, they did, they did she did a good job playing the character. I'm gonna marry the actor, the tall glass of milk that was chocolate milk that was on the show. Jimmy Olsen. Why is Jimmy Olsen Why black? Why did you change? Why is he black? Oh. No, no, seriously. I should have never commented. No, no, because it's a, it's a whole different different topic. But I'm just I'm just curious, man. Because, because we, I mean, because we know, like, uh, Jimmy Olsen, you know what I mean? Uh, what? Yeah, but you know, they always change things up, you know. I know, I know. And I, I mean, and at first, I mean, when they were doing the uh, whole, you know, she got sucked into the Phantom Zone and everything, I was like, what is this crap? They're kind of changing her. But by the middle, you kind of get it. I'm like, oh, this makes sense. That's kind of cool how they did that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there was a lot of liberties that they took with uh, with Supergirl that I didn't like initially, you know. Um, but as I continued to watch the episode, they kind of flushed it out and made it make sense. So Yeah, like, I was just about to make some examples. Like, even with the Arrow TV show, The Arrow... Arrow and um, comments putting his head down. What that means? No, listen. Oh, okay, uh, the TV show Arrow, and you know, if you watch The Flash, they changed up a lot of you know the story and comic books that happened originally. But you know, it's for the TV show. With TV show, you change up things. So it's what happens. Yeah, I just I, I don't know. I just I have this whole issue about like changing the the ethnicity of characters because I just think that's dumb. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I mean, it's just my personal opinion. I mean, Jimmy Olsen's always been you know. Uh, blonde hair, freckle faced kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, even they, I mean, they changed him a little. Uh, you know, later on in the comics, he became red hair, red hair, uh, freckle faced little kid. Um, and now he's a towering black dude. That, that doesn't make any sense. But um, yeah, I mean, I just, I, I kind of just wish they would stick to the source material. But I gotta say, the thing that they did do with it, aside from the whole Jimmy Olsen thing. Uh, I do like Jimmy's character. I think he's awesome. That's a good progression of him, you know, turning into a man. Because, you know, everybody knows he's a kid. Little Jimmy calling on Superman from back in the day when, you know, Superman was on the radio and stuff. So, um, it's cool to see him kind of progress as a character. He's one of those characters that no one really cares about. So, I did like that. And I did like the whole Phantom Zone thing, her coming to Earth and all that kind of thing. So, I mean, a lot of the changes that they did, I really liked. I thought it was cool. But, I don't know. I just, I just, I, I got I have this thing where it just looks too clean for me. It just mm -hmm. looks too clean. Too clean. Yeah, too way, way too like clean. Like some, like some, like some teeth that just were brushed for like a long time. Just too clean. Like you've been chewing, <laughs> chewing, for, like you've been chewing on some double mint, and then you've been brushing your teeth for like a good hour, and it's like your teeth is too clean, like that. Uh. Not quite, a bit. but yeah, anyway. I mean, it's just, <laughs> I don't know, it just, it was just, I don't know, it's, it's very CBS, I'll say that. It's very CBS. It reminded me of, like, back in the day, uh, Dean Cain Superman, who's also in this TV series, which is weird, as a, uh, as a, uh, um, Superman's dad, you know, um, but, it, you know, I, I don't know, that's a whole nother, mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of weird, didn't you? I, I, I didn't, I just watched the show, man. Yeah, because I know he was, uh, they wanted him to play Superman in the movie a while back, and he was just totally dissing Superman, and he would never play anything that had to do with Superman anymore, and blah, 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 blah. And it's just funny to see him in the series as, you know, uh, 
as a Mr. Kent, you know? So mm-hmm. it was just, it was, it was, you know. Well, he did play Superman in the TV series. So. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, he was, like, done with Superman. He, mm-hmm. like, refused to touch anything that had the name Superman on it. Yeah, he's well, his... he's back now, so, you know. Yeah. I yeah. Guess everything comes full circle, I guess. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of inter- interested to see what they're going to do with him, too. Because mm-hmm. it feels, I feel like they're going to have a, uh, the Kents are going to have a substantial role in it. And well, in the credit, they said it was a special guest star, so I don't know if he's just going to star in, like, a few, or if that was just the one and only one he was going to be in. Yeah, kind but they credited him as just being the special guest star. Yeah, kind of like um, um, in Arrow, you know, uh, you had the, not Arrow, I'm sorry, uh, The Flash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the original Flash from the 90s play the dad in oh, this one. Oh, dude, I love that. I love that. Yeah, Me so. and Combat watched the um, the original Flash of the 90s. If you didn't know, you guys better check it out. I can't remember the you know the actor's name, but they killed it. I love and, that uh, series. Fun, fun fact, fun fact. And what's her name? The that, girls, the woman's name. Man, beautiful. look, I'm trying to do a fun fact. Okay. Do we get, fun fact, y'all. That's why I like the Flash. Okay. I watched them as a kid, watched that TV show out so when I was like, I don't know, man, like six or something. I don't even remember how old I was. But that's why I, I ended up liking The Flash and I picking up com- the comic later on. And yeah, so more fuzzies. Yeah, no one cares about your fun fact. Anyway, what about. <laughs> my fans care about my fun fact! <laughs> I'm just playing. So what about the, the woman's name? What's her oh, name? Oh, yeah, I can't. You know what? I'm so bad. I love I, I don't know actresses' names. But, but the, not the actual actress, but you know the. Oh, yeah, TV, yeah. Uh, so the woman. Who played uh, the the lead scientist in Star Labs from back in the day is actually in this uh, the new version of the Flash, and she plays uh, in this story. She's the same exact character, but she was um, the lead scientist. They kept her story exactly the same. Only only difference is she didn't know who uh, who Barry Allen is. What name? What I can't remember. You know what? I don't know what the name is. I, don't know. I said the TV name. You know. I don't know the TV name. <sighs> That sucks. Yeah. We just saw her last week. Yeah. Anyway, she's awesome and she's amazing. English lady, English accent. Yeah, and also happy that to see her in the new series. You know, you love to see that. And those are my two favorite characters. <laughs> she was cutting up on the original series. Like, she was funny. So it was good to see her in the newer, you know, modernized version of The Flash. Yeah, that was, that was really time. cool. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I, I mean, it, like, all in all, I think it was a pretty good show, like we said. Um, there's a few things that we would like to fix here and there. And we have our reasons for not liking it, but I mean, we're curious. Did you like it? Did you watch it? Um, if you did, what do you think about it? Mm-hmm. Do you love it? Do you hate it? We always want to know what you guys think. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, as always, you can follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. Even though I'm not pretty, yep, I'm not comment, active on Facebook. Yep, quant- <laughs> com- mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. comment under Quantum VFX on YouTube and hit us up. Hit up Random Girl and hit up. The yeah, Combat All Star. You know, at Unique Girl Nerd and at Combat All Star. And until next time, y'all. He's out. So long.